This video will demonstrate how to set up the attendance component in web tests and also show a number of methods to enter attendance. First we'll sign in. Then we begin under attendance, setup, and setup attendance periods. Some schools take attendance during homeroom in the morning and some schools take attendance in both the morning and the afternoon. In this example, we have set up attendance periods for AM and PM. Other schools take attendance in every class during the day. You do not need to set up attendance periods for those classes since the program knows when the classes are scheduled. Next, we go to attendance, set up and set up attendance statuses. The attendance statuses are the reasons why a student is not in school. You can key in the reasons in this column. You can have as many attendance reasons as you require. You should have a status for absent, for late, and for excused. And then you can have statuses for other reasons, such as medical or school trips. For each status, you can classify whether the status counts as present, absent, excused, or late, and whether it should be counted in the total absences or the total lates for the student. Next, under Attendance, Setup, Setup Daily Attendance, you indicate the number of times a day that attendance is taken or the number of classes a day for a student. This number is used in the calculation on reports which show the total number of days missed. Next, go to Attendance, set up and set up attendance alerts. Here you can set up a series of alerts which are used to bring attention to cases where students have excessive absences or lates. For example, we have an alert here called absent two, which is triggered when a student has two or more absences. So you put in the total number of statuses here and then check the statuses that get counted for excessive absences. and then you can put in additional statuses or alerts. So we have another alert here called absent four, which will be triggered when they reach four or more absences. You can set up alerts for other statuses and other reasons. You can set up up to 10 alerts for any criteria for your school. Now we will enter attendance. Attendance can be entered in the school office by student, by list, by homeroom, and by class. Teachers can also use web tests to enter attendance into their own classes. Any attendance entered by teachers is instantly updated into the school office, and any attendance entered by the office will be seen by the teachers when they bring up their class lists. To enter attendance by student, click Enter Data by Student, Bring up any student by putting in their student number or any part of their name. In this case, the screen will now show the attendance for morning and afternoon, AM and PM, and you can switch to class attendance to see the attendance for this student's classes. To enter attendance, just switch to the day that's appropriate and click the status that you want to enter and click Save. Next, under Enter Attendance, Enter Data by List, you can enter attendance for any list of students. This makes it easy for the office to quickly enter attendance for students who must report to the office first if they are late, or have an excuse for not attending, or if parents have called in to report their child will be absent. So you just type in the name, or any part of the name for the student, indicate which period and their status. Notice that it shows the previously entered status for this student. So you can make corrections through this screen as well and then click Save. The school office can also enter attendance by home form. Just select the home form from the list. It brings up the list of students, including any previously entered attendance. 
and then you just add the additional status and click Save. The office can enter attendance by class. First, select the teacher, then select the class or home form. And once again, it shows any previously entered attendance, which you can then correct or adjust accordingly and click Save. The office can also assign attendance data. For example, if a group of students is going to be away for a sports trip, you can select the students, then the range of dates, and then the status, and then click OK. Then click OK to confirm assigning the attendance. The office can also assign attendance by class. For example, if students in certain classes are to be marked for a field trip, you can select the students, select the classes, then select the status, and click OK. And then once again, click OK to confirm assigning the attendance. There are a number of reports which can be printed. There will be a separate video showing all the attendance reports, but I'll briefly demonstrate two useful reports here. First, under Attendance, Reports, Attendance Registers, you can print lists of students by home form, by class, or by teacher for a selected period of time. For example, I'll select these three teachers, and I'll Choose the month of April and I'll print it for two weeks and click OK. This report prints the list of students with boxes for teachers to use to enter attendance. You can print the reports and distribute them to the teachers. Of course, a more efficient method of collecting attendance is to have teachers use web attendance to enter their own attendance directly into their classes. Be sure to watch our other video showing how teachers can use web attendance. The other report is under Attendance, Reports, and it's the Daily Attendance Report. Just select all students, click OK. Select the reasons. And click OK. And the date and the report will give you the list of students who are absent or late or on the field trip today. And you can print this report for any other day of the week as well. So I can look at attendance for last week and see if there were any absences.